good morning uh, myself kokla krishnan so i'll be discussing the topic of uh, professional ethics and advocacy so first when we discuss about professional ethics uh, the advocates act of 1961 was uh, the main uh, scope of the uh, concept of professional ethics it was introduced to implement the recommendations of all india bar committee and taking into account uh, the law commission's recommendations relating to the legal profession so the parliament has established the bar council of india under section 4 of the advocates act 1961 so as per section 7 clause 1 clause b the council has to lay down standards of professional conduct and uh, etiquette uh, for the advocates and section 49 clause 1 clause c allows the bar council of india to make rules uh, as to suggest the uh, standard of professional conduct to be observed by the advocates so there are certain bar council of india rules which are laid down for the professional uh, conduct of the lawyers so bar council of india has framed the rules uh, under part 6 uh, of the chapter so uh, which uh, uh, that is chapter 2 which deals with the standard of professional conduct of lawyers so this chapter uh, states 39 rules or duties of the lawyer against court client and opponent etc the first one is uh, lawyers uh, duty towards court it is like to maintain a respectful attitude and uh, uh, dignity towards court and not to impact on the decision of the court by any unlawful or inappropriate means uh, use the, their best effort to avoid their uh, like his clients from doing any unfair practice to appear in the court in the prescribed uh, dress code uh, to wear uh, bands and gowns only in the in the court and not in any cases of public cases or occasions not to plead in any manner in which he he is himself is interested etc when we discuss his duty towards client so uh, it, it can be stated like once he accept uh, like the case then she should not withdraw from any uh, uh, like engagements or actions without uh, appropriate cause should not accept and appear in a case where he is he has a reason to believe that he will be a witness uh, he should support the interest of his client by all moral means and not to overpower any material or evidence which shall prove the innocence of the accused uh, not to reveal the communications or talk uh, made by his client to him uh, not to charge for his services depending on the success of the matter taken uh, does not adjust uh, fees payable to him by his client against his liability to the client and cannot make payments in favor of clients or cannot lend money to him for legal proceedings if he has advised the party in a matter with the institution of the suit and he cannot appear for the opposite party for the same matter when we discuss about their duty towards the opponent he cannot communicate or negotiate with any party represented by an advocate except through the advocate upon the subject matter of conflict to carry out all valid uh, promises made to the opposite party so lawyer's duty towards colleagues is like an advocate has an obligation to colleagues that he will not solicit work or Uh, advertise uh, either directly or indirectly he shall not be allowed to use his name in the aid or professional service when a client can pay the fee then he will not accept a fee less than the taxable uh, values and rules so like when we discuss about the punishment of for uh, professional misconduct as per section 35 of the advocates act 1961 if a person is found guilty of professional misconduct then the case will be referred to be a disciplinary committee then they fix a date of hearing and issue of notice to the advocate so the disciplinary committee of the state bar council will hear both the parties the court may dismiss the complaint uh, and may give warning to the advocate suspend the advocate from practice for certain period of time and remove the name of the advocate from the state rolls of advocate next one is uh, advocacy so when we discuss about advocacy skills advocacy can mean many things but in general it refers to taking action so advocacy simply involves uh, speaking and acting on behalf of uh, oneself or other so there are uh, certain types of action that a person can take like self advocacy taking action to represent and advance uh, their own interest peer advocacy taking action to represent the rights and interests of someone other than uh, yourself uh, systems advocacy taking action into influential social and political and economic systems to bring out the change for groups of people so when we discuss about the professional misconduct and advocacy it can be said that professional ethics are not only important for advocates it is like uh, uh, for it is applicable to every field like good ethics leads as to make respect in society and well work in the social life and personal life good morning uh, myself kokla krishnan so i will be discussing the topic